got so i just got through testing my yuki aaron a6 14 foot surf cast rod and it broke second cast so i'm gonna be posting that video in this video but you know i don't i don't think it was their fault i think it was all my fault it didn't come with any instructions but i did see one guy on youtube say that these rods were not designed for high energy cast and i hit a off the ground cast i hit two well, i hit one i hit the first first two. First one i just pitched it second one was otg the third one i really put some some might into the rod and it broke like a toothpick so enjoy the video no knock at yuki uh yuki innovations if y'all out there man hit me up but uh i'm posting the video to just show you you know just be conscious of the products you buy because you could end up like me and have a three rod rod so enjoy the video all right folks i could have really really messed up this time i ordered a rod all the way from cypress but i forgot to ask the number one question was it a spinning rod or a casting rod so when i actually emailed the seller on ebay and said hey is this a casting rod or a spinning rod or a conventional rod or a spinning rod he said it's a conventional big pit spinning rod now i wasn't really too sure what big pit meant those are those spinning rules, tall, fat, wide spool. So when I bought the rod, I looked at the guides on eBay and I said, hey, self, those guys look like casting guides. They're, you know, they're not fat like, they're not wide as a, a spinning reel. They're real short. And I was like, okay, this has got to be a casting rod. So uh, I bought it, but I asked the question after I bought it. So here we are. We've got it all the way from the island of Cyprus. I think it's like 3,800 miles. I looked at on Google, and here it is. So I have no idea if my Dial 7HT mag is going to be able to work on this rod. Now, if the guides are just good enough to where they look like they can pass for casting, and the line's not sitting up too high on the rod, I'm gonna go with it. So the rod is a Yuki A6 rod. The model's A6. This company Yuki is pretty big over in Europe, so. This is a 14 foot three piece rod. I know a lot of people are gonna start crying right now. Eh, three piece rod suck. Nah, nah, nah. That's fine. Hey, I was I bought this rod because I was looking for a tournament rod on a budget. Granted, I'm not in a club or anything like that. I just wanted a rod I can just go out and have fun with my tournament reel in and not have to pay $400, $500, however much for a custom tournament rod. So, without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. Biggest thing, like what do the guides look like? Oh, it comes in a bag. Ooh. So this rod was 100 US dollars. So I'm trying to fill out the guides right now. This, the first one doesn't seem too spinning-ish. Let's see what, let's see what Yuki's working with. Now, I can't tell if this has been sitting on a shelf for a while, but it looks like it's got a little wear and tear on it. Can't complain too bad, $100 shipped across the world, free shipping. So total out of pocket was $99.99. So the first piece we got is the tip section. Oh man, it looks good, it looks crazy good. All right, so there's the tip section. Just from this guide right here, you can kind of see what I was talking about. They're short, but they're tall. So, I mean, that's not too reminiscent of a spinning reel guide. So let's keep going and let's see what else we got. Whoa. If this rod breaks first cast, oh well, it's really light. A lot of people online were saying, don't let the lightness fool you because this rod is really light. Here's the uh, butt section. Nothing like American rods. This whole section is... Um, this whole section is just, there's nothing here. There's, I mean, this isn't really even that grippy. So they say this can handle up to eight ounces. So let's see if we can get that to pick up on the camera. 
right there. Now remember, I'm not gonna be fishing with this rod at all unless some unforeseen event happens. Now, here's the butt section, no guides. Let's look at the midsection and see what kind of guides we will be greeted with to see if, whoa, uh, I'm really not sure. What do you guys think? Can that pass for a casting rod? I mean, I know it's up high, but I mean, it's not big and fat and round like a, uh, like a regular spinning reel guide. So we're gonna mount the um, we're gonna mount the dial up on this bad boy and see what it can do. My only question: Can this rod really handle eight ounces? Because this thing is like extremely light. How about I uh, turn it the right way? All right. So now that looks a little better. I don't think any of my other surf casting rods have a guide that sits up that high. I'll definitely go look at my Prevail and my 13 foot breakaway to see. So the way this is made, it's supposed to be made like this since now I know that it is actually a spinning rod. Like I say, we'll see if we can pass it off as a casting rod. I turned it on, huh? I thought I saw somebody right there. 